Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy, and this is your full body core and more with weights workout. So in this workout, we are gonna work your entire body with an extra focus on those core muscles using weights. So that is either a set of dumbbells or a kettlebell or both. As always, I will give you lots of different options, so listen to your body and work to your level. All you need for this workout are your dumbbells or kettlebell or both and a mat. Are you ready? Let's do it. Okay, so let's start just marching or jogging, whatever feels good for you. Let's get some rolls of the shoulders. We are gonna get a quick dynamic warm up. Let's take them to the front, but we will keep it short. So as always, if you need more of a warm up, get it on your own. Our goal with this warm up is to get the blood flowing, get the muscles warm, get some mobility work and some movement prep for the exercises that we are going to do. Let's take those arms and open them up wide and then step out into the side lunge, yes. So getting our bodies prepped and ready for what we are doing today, which is full body core and more. So just like it sounds, let's take it up. We are gonna get the entire body. So we'll get lower body, upper body, core and cardio, but all of it will have an extra core focus. I will give you lots of different options. Let's take it flat back down and round it up. So of course, listen to your body, work to your level. You know what I always say? I want you to be where you are today. So just by showing up today, you are successful. Remember that? Let's take it here, roll those shoulders. So be where you are today, work to your level. I will give you lots of different options. And of course, take them as you need. I want you to feel challenged, but I also want to make sure that you're doing it in a way that works for you, that's sustainable for you, that feels good for you. So we are going to take it three quick circuits that we are gonna do with our dumbbells. And then if you have the option, second time through, we will do it with our kettlebells. So we will do them back to back. One circuit will go each, all the way through each move and then we'll do it again with a kettlebell. You use what you have. If you have options to go heavier or lighter, keep them close by. If you have options to do dumbbells and kettlebells or just dumbbells or just kettlebells, you use whatever you have. In between those circuits, I will talk you through the next round. We'll get some swings in between and some cardio mobility work to keep moving while I'm explaining. But of course you can get a real rest if you want it as well. So let's take it across here. We are gonna get 45 seconds of work followed by 15 seconds of rest. And we'll start with a lower body that has core. Then we get an upper body that has core. And then we get a core that is of course core, right? Core and abs. So all three, 45 seconds through, and then we'll get a swing for a little cardio and then a cardio mobility. So, speaking of cardio, I want you to keep it with these hamstring curls. You can jump it if you want a little extra, it's up to you. Watch me as I talk you through your very first set of moves. So I'm gonna start with my dumbbells, I'm gonna start with my tens. Whew. So we are gonna go, actually just one dumbbell to start, and I'm gonna do a nice deep squat, holding the, the dumbbell or the kettlebell, whatever you've got, sit low, and then I'm gonna twist. So you have a few options. You can twist full body. If you wanna just twist torso, if that feels okay for your back. If you're in my prenatal, early postnatal, or healing a diastasis recti crowd, I want you to keep it full body rotation. Then we take it down, dumbbell or kettlebell. We're gonna do a plank row. Again, pre-post DR, stay on your knees. Everybody else, if we can, we're gonna alternate it here, right and left. Then we'll take it down for our classic dead bug on our back. I'll give you different options. All right, grab that dumbbell in the center. We're gonna sit low, squat and twist. Here we go, 45, down and twist. So watch my knees and my hips. I'm turning and keeping it here, getting low in that squat, focusing on lower body, but with that core engagement. I also want you to think about pushing your hands into the dumbbell or the kettlebell, whichever you have that's gonna increase that core engagement. And again, 
If you're feeling okay and you wanna take more of the hips out of it, keep it in the torso. If that feels okay for your back, that works. But probably for most of us, we wanna get all the way. We're still getting it moving. You got five seconds. Breathe. Three, two, one. Not too bad, right? All right, so take it down into that plank. You can probably go heavier on this one. I'm gonna to switch to my 12. Again, prenatal, early postnatal DR, stay on your knees or anybody else who needs to modify, take it here. Join me, here we go. So you're either on your knees, pull that elbow up. So this is pretty obvious, right? That we are working all through our back, those muscles along down the spine, while we're also getting our core in that plank. So check in with your core. Make sure you're zipped up, hips to ribs, ribs and hips towards each other, not holding your breath, but keeping everything in nice and tight, tighten in those legs and those glutes and your back as well. And then you're getting that row one at a time, right? We got 10 seconds, make it good. Breathe, hips stay square, elbow all the way up. Three, two, one. Good, stay down on your back, take it to the side. So no weights, we're gonna take it here into, zip everything up, a dead bug. So if you need to modify, take it to a bridge. Otherwise, let's take it here. So you can start with just those taps. We got 45 seconds. Extend it out and breathe. And once we get through the circuit, we're gonna go right into a second round using our kettlebell if we want. Really work on mobility on this, trying to stretch your arm out long over your head and then point that toe out and then close in with the core, everything pulled in. Early postnatal DR, this one is probably fine. Just make sure you have that good control. My pregnant mamas, I want you to keep it with the bridge. And breathe, or anybody else who this feels like too much, your bridge is a great core workout as well. Three, two, one. Roll to your side, bring it back up. We're gonna go right in with our kettlebell. I'm gonna go with my 15, it's up to you. Squat and twist, push in, get low. Here we go. Down and up, squeeze through and up. So two times through and I promise you each circuit is gonna move quickly. Ah, I'm not even twisting, am I? Take it low and twist. What's wrong with me? Notice how when you get that extra push into that kettlebell or dumbbell, you're gonna feel everything in tight here. And then as we turn, we're getting those obliques down and twist, down. If you want a little extra, you can take those arms out second round. Breathe, drop it low and twist. Take it down and twist. Woo! Three, two, one. Relax, good. We're gonna take it down to that plank row. This time, let's switch it to a bear plank. So you're staying on your knees. Again, modified, keep those knees down. Everybody else, lift those knees up. Here we go. 45. So stay lifted if you can. If you need to drop them down in between, that works too. Again, if that's too much for your core or your back, you just stay on those knees, or you can always take this to standing. Drop it down. Yes. Here and down. 15 seconds. Lift in that core, really make that core work. Either way, even if you're keeping those knees down, you're engaged in the core. And breathe. Three, two, one, relax, good. All right, and we're back down to that dead bug. Again, do the bridge if you need to. Otherwise, guys, this time, if you want, we're gonna do a little push back to center. Join me, push. So when I say push, you're gonna push your hand into the leg and leg into the hand, and then cross. Breathe. Keep that push, they're pushing against each other, opposite ways, right, creating that tension. And then, switch it here. 
You should feel the difference, right? Good, and breathe. Last 10 seconds, take it here. Both hands, both legs. Push and reach. Push, yes, five, four, three, two, one. Good, bring it up. We're gonna grab either our kettlebell or our dumbbells for some swing. I'm gonna grab my dumbbells. You can have one dumbbell in the center for similar to a kettlebell swing or one kettlebell, or you can have two dumbbells for a skier swing. That's what I'm gonna do. Second round, I'll take it to my kettlebell. Zip up that core. If you are not familiar with the kettlebell swing, you're not comfortable, keep it with that deadlift. Weights go right down in front of your legs. Otherwise, swing with me, 30 seconds. Prep it and take it up. Bring it up. Yes, good. So remember on this swing, drive the hips back. You're keeping the weights, dumbbells or kettlebells, about chest level to eye level or below. Power up, lock out at the top. We're not arching at the top. We're squeezing, stopping in that plank position, right? Five, four, three, two, one. Let it swing and relax. Get a little stretch. Pedal of your feet. Yes, good. Whoo, grab a quick sip of water, guys. We got one minute to breathe. I'm gonna talk you through your next round. Here's how I want you to keep moving. I want you to step out, reach. Step out, you don't have to get super low in that squat, but get that stretch through your legs. You can even just take it to here. Watch me while you do a step out, reach, step out, reach. All right, one dumbbell again. We're gonna do a lunge. We're gonna go right side only. Down, twist over the knee that's in the front, and press, looks like this. Here, here, and up, right? Then we're gonna take it to a little chest press on our back. Again, I'm gonna give you the option to take it with a bridge or bicycle. Then we take it to side plank. Go ahead and bring it up. So this set's gonna be a little bit longer, but we'll get through it quick. Here we go. Lunge it back. Lunge, twist, center, and up. If you are my pregnant mama or early postnatal or DR, I don't want you to twist. I just want you to push into that weight, just like we talked about with the squat. Push in, core engage. Lunge it down, twist over the knee, and up. So we're getting a lot of legs, a lot of core, a lot of arms. Keep it going. I know we got both sides. You can just do the tap back if you need to, just here or try to get low, five seconds. Good, three, two, and one. Catch your breath, we're gonna do the same thing other side. So give your hands a little break. Same thing other side, lunge it back, twist it, push in, push through the front heel, here we go. So it's lower, but we're also getting <laughs> the upper and the core. Not only are we sneaking core in on this one, we're sneaking some upper body, right? Push it in. If you don't want to do that twist or it's not appropriate for you to do it, keep with just the lunge and the press. But if you can, down and up, down. Yes, good. Keep it going. Yes, Woo. breathe. 10 seconds, can you get a little lower on that lunge? Keeping that balance, a lot of balance work today, right? Good, one, and relax, good. All right, so take it down onto your back with your weights. If you are in that prenatal crowd or early post DR, I want you to take it chest press and bridge. Otherwise, let's go with the bicycle. Here we go, everything in and up. So, important, our second time through with this, which we're gonna go right into after we get some side planks, right? Breathe. We are going to take it to triceps here instead of chest press, and then we'll mix up our legs. So this is a long set, a long circuit in the beginning. Remember, you can be here too. 
But our second time through, we're gonna get a little more variety. So get excited about that, right? Extend those legs out long, you can do it. And breathe. Yes. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Put your weights away. Roll around to the side. Watch me, guys. I'm going to cross this leg over. I'm going to lift my inner thigh. I'm going to lift up side plank. So take it here. Here we go. Up and lift. We're only going 20 seconds each side. So lower leg, inner thigh, lift. So we're sneaking in a little lower body on this one, right? Breathe, inner thigh, lift, inner, yes, and relax. Swing your legs around to that other side, cross it over. Same thing here, here we go. Lift, and up, and up, yes. Inner thigh, little lift. So as you're lifting, try not to push through this foot, still try to lift through here. I know it's a little tricky because you have this extra stability. Last one. Good. Go ahead and bring it up. Grab your kettlebell if you have that option. So this time, guys, let's take it. If you want, curtsy lunge. Watch me. Curtsy, join me, twist. And up. So it's a little more balanced, but you can do it. If you'd rather keep the regular lunge, that works too. But if you can, get down there and up. Remember, we're going both sides. Full body move, even though this is our lower body. Remember to keep pushing your hands towards each other. That's gonna keep the core engaged and keep those arms working, right? 15 seconds here. Curtsy, twist. Curtsy. Yes. I know, a lot of push on this round because we get our shoulder press and our chest press, but we're gonna go to tries. Relax, good. Hands get a break if you need it. Heart rate's up on that one, right? Curtsy if you can. Regular lunge if you need to. Tap it if you don't wanna lunge. Here we go. Curtsy, twist, and up. Yes. There we go. What I mean by tap is instead of going here, you can just tap, keep the front leg working, but you're not going as low, but we're still getting it here, right? Whoo, lots of heart rate, right? Lots of cardio on this one. Keep it going. I told you this would be the long circuit, especially getting through twice. to go. Low, twist, and up. Last one. Yes. Good. Bring it down on your back. So we're going to switch it to a tricep extension. So easier with the kettlebell. If you want to switch it to one dumbbell, if you have dumbbells, or two, you're here either with the bridge or with the bicycle. Here we go. 45. Bend at those elbows here to here. So I really want you to focus on the extension. I know with the kettlebell, it's a little tougher. If you don't feel comfortable with that, just go to an overhead triceps or take it with your dumbbells. Two dumbbells would look like this. Sorry, take it by your ears. That's a little better, right? So if you'd rather be here, yes. Bridge if that's better for you. Be where you are today. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Good, guys. Everything out of the way. Turn on your side. We got 20 seconds. Watch me here. I want you to stay on your knees. We're gonna do clamshell and lift. Outer thighs, here we go. Clamshell, lift. Clamshell, lift. Really focus on opening up, right? Yes, five, four, three, two, and one. Switch your sides, other side, 
same thing. Clamshell, lift, join me. And open it up. So again, outer thighs and obliques, lots of core. Breathe. The nice thing about this is we don't have to have a ton of core focus work because everything we're doing in this workout today is engaging your core. Last one. Good, bring it up. We're gonna go back to that swing. So I'm gonna grab my heavier kettlebell for this. I'm actually gonna take it starting with my 18. So shoulders back, again, kettlebell or dumbbells, whatever works for you. We're gonna take it with that hinge here. If you need to modify deadlift, otherwise 30 seconds, join me here, power it up. So driving back, but you're not controlling it on the way down. You're letting it drop through the legs towards the back and then power it up. So squeeze, squeeze, lock it out straight up and down. Yes. Keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. And relax. Woo! Pedal those feet. We're into that last circuit. Catch your breath. Quick sip of water. Woo! Yes. All right, team. So a little bit of mobility. Watch me. Open it up. Stretch. Open it up. Stretch. Watch me as you're doing this so I can talk you through your next round. If you don't wanna get that low, just go here, reach. But open up the hips, open up the legs, watch me. All right, we got our side lunge with one, two dumbbells. Take it here if you got it, or one heavy. We're going to the side, we're bringing the knee up, right? So it's a balance move. Then we'll get the other side. Then we're taking it half and half, balanced biceps. So we're gonna go here. If that feels like too much, I'm just gonna have you lift in between or keep it down. 20 seconds, 20 seconds. Then we're gonna take it to our planks. First round, we're gonna alternate one arm. Second round, two arms. Grab those dumbbells, starting side lunge. Here we go. So drop it down, power it up. Drop it low, power it up. So I'm gonna give you an option. If you wanna make this a little more of a compound move, we can add a little row at the bottom, right? I know we did a bunch of rows, but if you want a little extra, one kettlebell or two dumbbells, since we're going all on one side, bring it up, totally up to you. Again, this is your lower body circuit, so if you wanna keep it consistent, just lunge and knee. Here we go, five seconds. As I told you before, sometimes it's good to add extra back. Your balance is where that core comes in. Shake it out. Same thing, other side. Here's where your balance work comes in. So really tighten in the core, no twisting, nothing crazy. Halfway through, we'll add the row if we want. Here we go. Squat or side lunge, bring it up. Side lunge, bring it up. And up, yes. If you want, add the row here. Again, I know we did rows in that first circuit from the plank, which are challenging, but whew, always a good idea to add more back and shoulders because so much of our life, sitting at our desk, sitting in our chairs, sitting in our cars, looking at our phones, pulls us forward. Whew, yes, breathe. We are so close. Five, four, three, two, one, good. Catch your breath, give your hands a break. All right guys, 20 seconds. We're gonna be here or bring it up in between. If that feels like too much balance, you just keep a regular curl. Here we go. So hold it up if you can. It's a lot of core, it's a lot on that one leg. So if that's too much, here to here. Strong arms all the way through, regular bicep curl. Yes, or here, three, two, one. Breathe for a second, set up for that other side. 
Here we go. And up, yes. If you wanna take a hammer curl on this one if you got those dumbbells. Otherwise, keep it regular. Knee can be moving through it. We're holding it up the whole time. Yes, three, two, one. Relax, good. Whew. Stretch them back. Bring it down to a plank, guys. So, my prenatal early post DR crowd, I want you to take it to that bird dog. Take it here, hips forward. Everybody else, bring it up into that elbow plank. Join me here. All right, watch me here. I'm gonna open it out. Five, four, three, two, switch. Keep those hips square. Five, four, three, two, switch. You got this, hold. Five, four, three, two, lift in the center. Here we go. Five, four, three, two. Yes, 10 to go. Five, four, three, two. Other side. Last five, four, three, two. And breathe. Stretch it back. All right. Grab your kettlebell if you're switching. Woo. Have your kettlebell if you got it. We're going to that side lunge. If we want to take a row with it, we will. Otherwise, with the knee. Here we go. Side lunge to the knee. Balance. Nice and slow. Really get into the legs and the hips. And then as you push out of it, lift to that core. If you want to add the row, here we go. Down. Row. And up, yes. Down, row, and up. Lots of balance in this round, but you can do it. Good. Five seconds to go. Can we get one more all the way through before we get to that other side? Good. Breathe. Hands get a break if you need it. I know sometimes they need it from the kettlebells or the dumbbells, whatever you got, use what you got. Other side, side lunge and knee. Here we go. Cross it over, push out, zip up in that core. Cross it over, push out. Yes, low and up. Add the row if you want. Yes, good. There we go. Squeeze in the shoulder blades, pull that elbow up, and then balance at the top. Don't forget about that balance. If you're adding it in, you guys, this balance work is so important. Even if you just do a little tap, you get a little bit unsteady because it helps us keep our balance in daily life. Good, relax. Breathe for a second. It helps with fall prevention. It helps us if we're unsteady, carrying the groceries, carrying the babies, whatever it is, really good to do balance work. Here we go. Grab that kettlebell or dumbbell. One knee up if you can. Here we go. I know it's a little trickier with the kettlebell because you kind of have to go in between, but do the best you can. Keep it up if you want to, or bring it in as you curl. Good. Ground that opposite leg into the floor. Yes, last one. Switch it here, here we go. Hold it up if you can. Woo. Yes. Or down. Breathe. Good, keep it going. Let's go, five, four, three, two, one. Relax, good. Drop it down, stretch it out. All right, guys, so this time it's a one-legged plank. If you need to modify, I want you to keep that bird dog just alternating. Otherwise, let's come on our elbows, guys. Here we go, lift one leg up, hold four, five, four, three, two, one. Other side, five, four, three, two, one. If that bothers your knees, you just keep it regular. That's totally fine. But if you can, we're gonna hold them up. Five, four, three, two, one. 
Keep it going. Lift, squeeze, squeeze in that glute too so we get down through the back, through the glutes. And switch. Five, four, three, two, one. And switch. Five, four, three, two, one. Last one, let's finish it out. Five, four, three, two, breathe and stretch. All right guys, one last swing. Let's get it over with. I'm gonna go with my heavy kettlebell. You go heavy dumbbells, kettlebell, whatever you got. Modify with just the deadlift if you need to. Otherwise, let's get one last swing. Shoulder blades back, prep it. Three, two, 30 seconds. Take it up. Really drive it up. Notice how when I go heavier, it seems to slow down a little bit because I really can only use my lower body. Upper body has to react. So like I always say, we're getting the work, but we're not doing the work. Yes. Good, keep it going. Five, four, three, two, one. Swing and relax. Good, pedal your feet. Whoo, breathe. Awesome, guys, quick sip of water. How about we get one last bonus move? All right, guys, so watch me here. Two parters. I've been doing this in the live workouts lately and you guys seem to like it. So we're going up. We're gonna go cross. If you're pre-post DR, don't twist too much. Otherwise, cross, 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 cross. Squat, take it down. Drop, 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 up. Take it up. So, two parts, up and down. If you don't wanna go all the way down or you can't, again, my pre-post DR crowd, keep it all the way up. You just keep it here with that squat in between. Everybody else, let's go up and down. Let's finish this out strong before we cool it down. We are so close, ready, here we go. Cross, four, three, two, one, squat. Pop it back, take it down, dip, four, three, two, one. Walk it up, jump it up, here we go. Four, three, two, one, drop. And pop, down elbows, four, three, two, one, take it up, and pop. Four, three, two, yes, get low. Pop it back, take it down. Four, three, two, one, take it up. Pop, jump it if you want. Four, three, two, one, get low. Pop it back, drop it down. Four, three, two, one, pop it up. One more time through. Four, three, two, one. Yes, down. Four, three, two, one. Stretch. Hi. Good work, team. How do you feel? I hope you feel good. I want you to stretch back into those hips. Whoo, reach those fingertips forward. Really try to open up the knees if you can, if that feels good for you. Reach those fingertips along. We're just gonna get a quick cool down. Of course, you can always check out my other stretching videos or recovery videos if you need a little more. <sighs> Sit forward, take those knees out. Oh, I hope you feel good. I hope that went fast. It's fun when we can switch between equipment, but it moves really quickly, right? Which is nice. Whew. Breathe. I want you to lean back, cross one leg over if you can, pull it forward if you need to sit in a chair for this. And then at the same time, open your arms back, just like this, if that feels good for you. Otherwise, sit in a chair, press that knee away, get that little hip, and then other side. Take it here, walk it in, open up the chest and the shoulders. Good work, make sure you check out all of my other playlist of videos. Anything that says with weights is gonna be this kettlebell and dumbbell situation, but I have tons of just dumbbells, tons of just kettlebells, as well as other equipment, prenatal, postnatal, 
low impact, beginner, bands, balls, you name it. Whew. Let's reach those hands forward, chin to your chest. And then of course, again, recovery, yoga, Pilates, stretching, bring it up, other side. Whew. And of course, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. When you subscribe, it helps me be able to make completely free workouts for you here on YouTube. Reach behind. And of course, if you're looking for a little more accountability or support, check out the Body Fit Athletic Club. You can find a link in the description below. Roll back onto your feet. It's a really great group. It's an international community where we have a Facebook group where you can connect. You get weekly and monthly workout calendars. Slowly roll it up. You get a nutrition plan. You get support and guidance from myself and from Vivian, our body fit dietitian. And of course you get support and encouragement from other body fitters from around the world. Whew. Take those fingertips down, let your head drop to the side. It's really fun, join us if you can. And of course, click the other link to find out everything available on my website, eBooks, Programs, Nutrition Guide, <sighs> Merchandise. Thank you so much for showing up today and moving your body with me. I hope you feel great. Take this energy throughout the rest of your day. Come back for more because you did it. One big deep breath in and out. You did it. That was your full body core and more with weights workout. Great job, everybody.